Oh, okay. All right, man, we the Hebrew Israelites. That's all. We come out here week in and week out. First of all, we want to say all praise y'all by Shmi Yahweh Shai. All praise y'all by Shmi Yahweh Shai. Double to the elders, BMS, Great Millstone. And uh, like I said, we come out here week in and week, week out. And uh, we prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, right? This wicked ass kingdom known as Babylon the Great. Because this place is wicked. It's full of wicked people too, right? That's what we out here to condemn, this, this, this wicked ass society, man. You know, we know y'all tired of it, but that's cool, man. Because they got tired of the prophets and the scriptures, man. What they used to ask the prophets when they used to come in? Are you here for war or what? <laughs> war or peace? Well, guess what? We ain't out here for peace, man. We ain't out here for peace. Can't be out here with peace in a place full of wickedness, man. So, uh, yeah, we gonna start it off. The brother gonna start it off with, uh, with what? Uh, the lesson. Lesson to this. Yeah, like the brothers just said, we as men of the Lord walk around, and there's always somebody trying to snare us, trying to do us hurt and harm. All of Israel, but specifically us. We out here in the highways and byways, we got cops always trying to snare us up, always right. trying to get us in trouble, do harm to us, physically, mentally, monetarily. Sirach chapter 12 verse 10, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Right, right. That's what these cops never trust thine enemy. They might. If a cop, if a cop mess, if a cop talk to you, he just trying to, to, to trap you up, snare you up, so he can he can take you to the court and then deliver you to jail, to the prison. They trying to do harm to you always, and if you get a little a little violent or a little argumentative, he want to put his hands on you. Hey, I lost houses. Coming, coming. Never no. no. wait, Snoopy. Right, what's going on there? What's happening? Talking about the Bible. The Bible? Sore subject for a lot of people, for sure. Um, what stuff? Chapter 1, 2, or 3? The whole Bible. The whole book. I'm trying to let these people know that they're Israelites. So, the big left there. You might be on. You on the sign, man? What? Are you on the sign? Am I on the sign? Yeah. He grows new, man. I thought you was Guatemalan, man. Nah, he <laughs> looks Guatemalan, though. He does. I am not undersigned. Levi, I've got Levi's on. Yeah, yeah, from Europe, right? You what? Europe? Yes. What part? England. So, you got that? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So, what you doing? Wait, we're okay. I'm out here just, oh, out. Just, just preaching. I had a letter there. Very pretty. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to let you come on up in the list, right? Good shit. Good that, shit. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Not the... I haven't got the English on that. You haven't got the English on that? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. these people are dispersed all over the world. Not in England, clearly. You've got, well, you got Seminole Indians, you've got Argentina, you've got Mexicans. Well, can't, you, can't you migrate to, to Africa and have kids over there? And then your kids can stay over there? Yeah. Well, so you know he, what? He I can all in Africa. I, uh, they're too big for me. I can also go to oh. Dominica. Oh, 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 oh. Revelation 13 and 10. Verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. There is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's, that's basically what he said. Eye for eye. Yeah, that means that means you put us in slavery, but the white man, the so-called white man, put us in oh. You've seen that's where Dot plays something out. No, yeah, that is I mean, very touchy. That's very touchy. It is. Are you saying that my ancestors put you in slavery? 
I'm saying Are that, you saying that? I'm saying that your people oh, are put in the That is oh. very uh, I mean, so so as far as you know, I your father goes wrong. back to being English. Yeah. English? As far as you know, your father goes back to being English. From yeah. England? Yeah, he is. Then your then your ancestors did put us in slavery. Did they? It's That's like right. whites as well. Did, yeah. All, all of it. All, all, all of it. All of it. All of it. Lower class. So More is that what you're angry about? Color. Are you still angry about that? Of course. You gotta get paid back, you just read. We get paid back. you get paid back, then we don't be cool. How, 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 how are you going to get a payback? Are you going to put us in slavery? Revelation's gone. Here we go. Snoop's got it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Alright, so basically until you enslave all white people, you're not going to be content. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we say that in the Bible, say that. Right? Yeah, we say that in the Bible, say well, that. You implied it. Did we read out the Bible or did I, did I just read well, it? Well, he implied it and then you read it. So the Bible is saying that you that put, put people in slavery must go into slavery. I read a scripture. Who, start, who, who is the main slave trader? I forgot the English. How, how are you, you going to do that? They were the biggest cunts. Yeah. We are, we, we are still us. Yeah. So you got to go into slavery then, right? We got to go into slavery. Go into the Bible. Fair enough. How are you going to imp implement that? <laughs> huh? How are you going to implement that? Give me some of chapter 1 for you now. Oh, here we go. This is good to say, I love this. Give me some of chapter 1 for you now. I just want to read too. He said he asked uh, earlier, um, is that what we're mad about? What he asked that we're mad about. Slavery. Yeah. Yeah. Did everyone ever call you Snoop Dogg? No, bitch, it's your video of me right now. <laughs> you do, do whatever you want, man. Ecclesi He's a good man. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Yeah, so then you all you think your people oppressed us, putting us in slavery? So if we, if we wise, which we all wise out here, we understand what your people did. So you, you, you're in slavery. Think of it. You're in slavery. <laughs> Come to think of it. it. Me being Scottish heritage, yeah. you English cunts put us in slavery yeah. as well. Yeah, we did, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm, That's I'm right. on your side. I'm kind <laughs> <laughs> That's true, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Blame yeah. the English. Blame yeah. the English. You could be one of our people too. Yeah. 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 Big time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't listen to Snoop Dogg. Dr. Dre and I say he's cracked. I got a scoop. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 15. That which has been is now, and that which has which is to be has already been. And God required that which is past. I mean, y'all gotta pay for what y'all did in the past. We are paying. How are we how are we gonna pay for it? Psalm 149, start at verse 6. No, oh, he's good. They're good. We can't say that. They know us now. Psalm 149 started verse 6. The, the, does God not say, let bygones be bygones? No. He never says that. He never says that. I've never heard that bygones be bygones. Nah, well, you, <laughs> look it up. Simple, look it up. So many ways. Psalm 149. But I like what they're saying. Psalms 149 and 5. Psalms 149 and 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. It's talking about the kingdom. You know, everybody talking about the kingdom of heaven? Yeah. They're going to be on earth. There's going to be certain people ruling that kingdom. It's like this kingdom, America has a kingdom. Yeah. They rule the whole earth today, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to be another kingdom, and the people that in this Bible is going to rule that kingdom. Right. Let the high who, praises. Who, who, uh, who, uh, who are preaching that kingdom right now? Who's going to rule that kingdom? We're going to rule it. You three specifically. Not us three specifically, but this, these people on this side. Really? Yep. They're, they're in. They're in reign to reign to reign the kingdom right now. We're going to rule the whole earth. When is that? When the king, when the Lord come back. So he's going to come back. I don't know when he's going to come back. I just know he's going to come back. Nobody knows. You, you reckon this could be in, in our lifetime? I hope so. I hope so.
So I'm about to We're in. We're in. Let her read that. Keep reading. Keep reading. Said, let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Right. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Right. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. You want the heathen, right? right? Are you an Israelite? What about you? You an Israelite? I'm on the board. Okay. <laughs> you, would, you would be considered to be a heathen. So the scriptures say, let them execute vengeance upon the heathen. All right, go ahead. And punishment. Vengeance, vengeance for what? For what you did to the most high's people. Right. You put them in slavery. What have we done? You put, them in, you put the most high people in slavery, not just so-called Negroes, but so-called Native Americans are the most high people too. They put them in slavery, they killed them, they murdered them, they still got us today. We're still in the hands. Nobody let us go. Just because we're here, we don't have chains on us, don't mean we're free. Right. But freedom is free. We got America, America chains America's on. free, right? You, no, you it's can, not free for us. But you guys, you guys can stand. We got economic chains on. Why have you got economic chains on you? Jay Z has in, Snoop Dogg has in. That's an exception. And even, and that, even there's millions of exceptions. And even still, he still has chains LA, on. LA, LA Reid has it. And they still got chains on. What chains they got on? Them? They, they have people above them that tell them what to do. And if they don't do those things, L LA, LA they'll Reed, lose everything. What, what if it's a black person above them telling them what to do? Is that all right? Um, uh -huh. What if it's a black person above them? At the top of the top. There is yeah, no black at the top. That's what you believe. Jay Z is at the top of the top. LA Reid is at the top of the top. Jay Z and LA Reid are not at the top of the top. Who's, who's top of the top then? Well, first of all, where did Obama? he? Obama? He's right up yeah. there. Jay Z and them. Obama the Thank you. Obama. There's Obama. Where's Obama? Obama. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Where's Obama from? Where's Obama? It doesn't spot? matter. No, no. It, it does not matter. matter because it we're talking about yes, it do. You're talking about color. We're not talking about color. Wait, what are you talking about? We're talking about a race of people, which a race has nothing to do with color. Right. So, 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 all about so, so, where, so where, where's Obama from? So where, Obama, where, Obama's where do you want, father, you want, what? you want American, you want black Americans, right? Obama is, Obama's father is from Kenya. That's, We're not African. No, it, it matters because our ancestors are not from Kenya. Our ancestors are from our West Africa. How do you know that? Because I study. Because you study. Yeah? Yes. That must be right. It must be right. Ooh, it must be right. Be right. What's my, what must be right? It must be right. Whatever you read must be right. Well, about what did I just say? About where you study. Where, you, where my ancestors are yeah, from? Where your ancestors it's are obvious. From. You came through the slave trade. That's Why? where they got the slaves from. Huh? How would you do it? I mean, I gotta pull out the pictures for you? Yeah, I could have fucking done that, mate. I could have gone on Google and got a bunch of other people. How was your learn? You, you said, said those are fake slaves, pictures? right? I, yeah, I could have gone and got that picture. I could go on no, Google. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. How was you going to learn? But does this pertain? But does this pertain to you? Because these are your pictures. This is the slave trade. Yeah. This, this is documented evidence. Yeah. evidence. Yeah. And we came from West Africa. Obama is from. Yeah, but you, surely you, you can't pinpoint your specific lineage from West Africa. Why can't I? Why can't I? I mean, have you? Yeah. How, how did you? How did I work? How did you pinpoint Ancestry exactly died. where exactly you're from? Where your my father, is exactly my from. father is from Jamaica. Okay. okay. The people that came from Africa and Jamaica came from West Africa. It's documented history. When the slave traders you, went... you seen that documented history? I'm going to tell you. When the slave traders came to West Africa, they kept logs. It's like, if you go to if you, if yeah, you the store, you'll keep a log, an inventory list. Yeah. Right. Well, the slave traders did the same thing. The and the people that went to Jamaica came from West Africa. The people that, that's in America, African Americans, as you call them, they came from West Africa. Most of the slaves came from West Africa. And you're, and you're looking for the West Africans to get vengeance on whatever was done. Uh, in, uh, in no. What we're saying is the people that came over here to America, into the West Indies, on the slave trade, they are the chosen people of God, the 12 tribes of Israel. What we're saying is, when the Lord comes back, Jesus Christ comes back, and he set up his kingdom on earth, all the nations are going to pay for what they've done to these people. Not just England. Not just England. England, India, 
every nation gonna pay. And after they pay their judgment, which is slavery, every nation gonna go into slavery. Right. Except, except for these people. After they, because so, they've are, already been in slavery. So are, are, you, are you just waiting no. your life until that moment comes? Yep. Yeah, we're really? just waiting. Oh right. So this ain't That's no. All we got. You think it's a carnal? Yes. Thing? Yes. I That's all we got. You. This ain't, this ain't no carnal thing where we're gonna go ahead and pick up a whole bunch of swords and guns and start killing like, people. We're not Muslims. You know what I'm saying? We out here just teaching the Bible, letting our people know the truth of what's going on out here, man. And you might be an Israelite though, man. You're not, you're not as all. Uh, who knows, man? As rowdy as this guy right here. He's an absolute cop. Don't worry about it. You know what Scott means? It means black. Is it? Real Scottish, mate. You're you're waiting for something though that you have no idea what when it's gonna come and if it's gonna come. What else are we gonna do? What? What else are we gonna you do? Don't get drunk, you fuck nuts. Well, you know that's the, that's funny because that's what exactly the Christ said was gonna happen when that when he when he comes back. Well, he that's beautiful what you just said. He didn't say it like that, but he said people were going to be drinking and marrying. Marrying basically meaning coming together, having sex or whatever. So that's what's going to be happening. So the more that you see a lot of, you know, crazy buffoonery out here, that's when he's going to that, jump. That's when, that's when it's going to happen. Right. That's the best time to get somebody when they're not really paying attention, huh? He said he's coming like a thief in the night. So. What's yeah. you looking for? It's better with that. What? No. It's in Matthew 25 and 38. Matthew 25 verse 38. When so we be a stranger and took the end. Wait, wait, 24 and 38. 24. 24 and 38. Okay. Matthew 24 verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Matthew verse 36. But of that day, verse 36, but of that day and hour, know of no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall all the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Mar uh, they were eating and drinking. Marrying. Why, why isn't God going to save you already? Why did he save you already? Because he was married. Why did he save you already? Why did he save you? Why did he save Kunta Kente? Cut his foot off, mate, didn't he? Oh, he, had, he had to serve his punishment. Serve his punishment? Yeah. So he, he, he can just save him? No, we didn't, we didn't follow the Lord's statute. Even the sign didn't follow the Lord's The Lord's law statute and commandments was only was given to us, the Israelites. Yeah. So we had to serve all of them. And now we're not serving them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, since you put us in slavery, we're going to have to serve God's punishment. It's been a long time, though, isn't it? Right. It's been a long time. Since that, since that age, that we're seven old, I'm still not into that. Yeah, yeah, hey, you know what? Yeah. 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 Give me Revelation chapter 18. It's been a long time, isn't it? I mean, if, if I'm gone, I'm saying, right, you enslave them, next day, fuck you, I'm enslaving you. Yeah, but a most of the time, it's different from last time. Slavery isn't bad, man. Slavery's not bad, but what are you worrying about you then? If slavery is not bad, don't worry about it. No. Why, why, are you, why are you trying to trying to get your own back? Don't worry about it. Slavery is That's a good question. Right? That's a really good question. This is a long one. Thank you. I'm going to learn. Revelation. Say it right. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. Yeah, so this is really good. I got it already if you want it. Alright. Revelation 18 and 5. Love your, uh, love your Jewish time. Alright, man. Huh? Love your Jewish time. Alright, man. Thank you. Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. Wait, no. Start up, sir. Start it up? Start it. Start it. Start it, too. Yeah. Revelation 18 and 2. And he Babylon is America, by the way. And Babylon? He, Babylon is America. Ba Babylon? How do you know that? Or is that just your interpretation? Babylon, Babylon is great. It's America. 
We could go through a Revelation chapter 17 and tell you. Like, uh, that tells you, it says, the spiritual example. They don't example. say America, no, it's not going to say America. This book was written a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. Right. It's not going to say America. But that's your interpretation. It's not an interpretation, that's what's real. How, how is it real? Why ain't it fucking Israel? Huh? Why ain't it is Israel? Because it's not. Why, Why not? Why not though? Not. You, 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 you can't right, just let's say Let's go to Revelation you chapter 17. Come on. You, you say, you say, hey, you say, we got to prove all things. We got to prove all things. You're the one preaching, boys. Revelation chapter 17. By the way, you meant spiritually Babylon, too. Revelation chapter 17. Can you say it's America? Can you say it's America? Let's fucking see. He said what? He said how is how can we prove that this is Babylon? It's not. It's spiritually how, how, Babylon. How, how, you're saying that's America. It is America. Well, how? How is that America? You're saying it was Babylon and it was America. Why don't Babylon be on Sweden? Because first of all, Sweden has a rule the whole earth. Babylon is America. You know what Babylon yes, does. is? Does it? Yes. Oh. America that, that, rules the whole earth. That's what's true. the wait, wait, what's the what's the what's the language that everybody speaks in the whole earth? What's the oh, what's the number one language? That's, that's weird. Because in Nova Scotia they don't speak America. But wait, anytime you go to do it, wait, hold on. Yeah. Anytime you go to do any business English. transaction, yeah, no it's English. Oh, oh it sorry. In that's England. Now that's secondly, America. what's the that's reserve wait, hold on, what's the reserve currency of the whole world? Oh, it's fucking not American. I'm it's the like, American dollar. Yeah, it doesn't mean that that's American though, is it? What? It doesn't mean that fucking Babylon means America. No, because Babylon, you're, you're Babylon the Great, well, you, you got, because Babylon the Great was going to rule the whole earth. Right. And that's fine. You know he, he could have been from fucking Estonia. It doesn't mean that he's fucking American. What is the word Babylon? You know the word Babylon means? Babylon the Great? You tell me what the word Babylon means. Well, no, no, no. I, I don't. Well, no, I'll ask you first. I'll ask you first. I don't know, I don't know what the word Babylon means. It means confusion. Yeah, it doesn't mean America. America is confusion. Go back to Revelation 18 and 2. Why don't do fucking Norway mean confusion? Wait, hold on. Revelation 18 and 2. The ruler of the whole earth is America. In the last days, the ruler of the whole earth is going to be known as Babylon the Great. That's fucking ignorant. Why is America the whole earth? Russia. It's America. Russia doesn't rule the earth. Yet, yeah, North America. Yes, it does. So they, they have, like they have said, a commander that rules the whole earth. If they had a commander that rules the whole earth, why are we what rule is the, the, the main you, country in the UN? What? What? What's the main, head, main country in, in the UN? It doesn't matter. It's still not real. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's still not rule the whole earth. Where is the United Nations? Basically, United it's talking Nations. about the influence. Yeah, and that's fine. But there's no, that's what it means. There's no one country that rules the whole earth. Here you go, right Just because you fucking watch Mars attack. You know nothing about, about the New American Century document. America ruled the whole world. Right? That's fucking ignorant. That's, that's very ignorant. That's very That's very that's not ignorant. Everybody caters to America, man. You don't have to agree. Everybody caters to America. I know you're from England. You want England to rule the earth, but America does. That's ignorant by you. Now, nobody will help. How can any country rule, rule the earth? America rules the so earth. They, so if they rule the earth, why the fuck uh, Let's go down the list. Why, why is everyone trying to fucking Let's down go down the list. list. If, if, they, if they rule the earth, why would America be? Because we we all all there's always people trying to rebel. But, but that... You're a cunt. You're an ass. Let's, let's go down the list. The United Nations. Oh my God. The United Nations. Such a cunt. Which is over all the nations. The United Nations. Was founded by who? America, Russia, and China, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right? Good. Where is Amer where is the United Nations at? Where is the United Nations headquarters at? Right. It doesn't matter. It's in New York. You can't What's the reserve you can't, Wait, hold you can't on. Say. I'm gonna cut. Wait, hold on. You can't say well, what is the reserve? The what is the reserve currency of the whole world? What is the whole economy of the whole world backed on? What dollar? What measurement of money? I don't know if that's so, true. So, that's the, true. so the euro, the, US the yeah. US dollar, US dollar if the US dollar, dollar collapses today, the whole world economy collapses. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, America. America. It, it's, it's a very biased judgment. I understand no, what you're saying. It's we very got a court to fact. How, how is that fact? Yeah. How, how can you say that? How can reasons? Oh, that must be right. After World War II, America took over the whole world. What are you talking about? America? See, you, you, after the World War, after he's, World he's War getting, II. He's getting it mixed up. You're thinking like, okay, we just got U.S. soldiers and they're just controlling every single person on the, on the no, face of the planet. I'm, I'm not getting mixed up. But the government, your government can't even fucking stay in government from the country. So how can you walk? That, you just how, explained it just yeah, right there. They're all over you, the place bringing their democracy, man. Yeah. yeah. They're in your Arabia. Government, your government's going to quit on you right now. So, how, so how can you be fucking in, in control of the world? What your government's going to quit what on you. You're making this sound like you're protecting this place. Okay. Yeah. What kind of government does uh, Iraq have? You don't fucking know. It has a democracy. Uh, yeah. But why? It's, it's not a, your government is fucking quit on you. It ain't it's my it's, government. We're making this like we defending this yeah. place, man. We hate this place, man. <laughs> We're not with America, American man. government. We don't we don't care about American exactly. supremacy. We don't give a damn about right. that. Well we're telling you that Babylon and Babylon the Great is America because America rules the whole earth. This place has its hands in every country. How can how can more his embassies all over all the whole earth? Because they do everybody caters to America. Right. No, they don't. Everyone. Yeah. You know Libya what? is fucking not catering to America right now. And what's happening? And what happens to them if they don't if they don't comply? But yeah, we'll fucking we'll see what's happening in fucking Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. You're fucking struggling big time. If you go against America, what happens? Yeah, we'll fucking you see. Get, what's you get bombed, if your country gets the shit bombed yeah. out of it. Yeah. Your leader of your country gets assassinated. And what, what happened until, to the, and a new government, a new puppet government is set up by what America. Happened, what happened to 9 11? So it was set up was by America. That, that was an inside job. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. America said that. That's it. Thank, Thank you. Game set a match. You really, you. you really Check think me. some Arabians flew a plane into a building? I think they did. And then, yeah, I've seen. I've done in that. I've done it. <laughs> some Arabians. That's, that's the only thing I've done. Oh, that's, that that that's what I've done. I've done Snoop Dogg. Bring it up. You can't, you can't really believe that, man. He just can't take that. He just needed it out. That's all. You still can't take that. He re 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 Revelations 18 and all two. And we'll go back to the Revelations 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. And has become the habitation of devils. Man. Right. Babylon the Great is fallen. What does it mean? I mean, it, this place is going down. Babylon is America. What does it mean by it's become the habitation of devils? It means that there's going to be, this place is going to be a desert. It's going to be owls and different desert animals living in it. Keep going. And the hole of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Keep going. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication work. Wait, now, we're just telling this dude, America exactly. is the leader of the whole world. We should have just kept raising, man. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, America is the leader of the whole world. Like I was telling this guy, after World War II, after the United Nations, um, the League of Nations was done away with because of World War II, they formed the United Nations, which was formed by Russia, America, and um, China, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> now, the United Nations is where? It's in New York. Right. Like I told the guy, the, 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 um, the reserve currency of the world is the American dollar, the U.S. dollar. Huh? I mean, we can go on and on and on. The president of the United States is called the what? The leader of the free world. I mean, we can just keep going on and on. Therefore, we know America is the leader of the world, man. All, all culture, every, every place in the, in the world, their culture is being robbed or being, uh, their culture is disappearing and being replaced by American culture. Look at Iran. In Iraq, places in the Middle East, they starting to dress like these women out here, wearing pants, half butt ass naked. They ain't covering their heads up no more. They being sluts. They being sluts. 
Look at the whole homosexual shit. They going into Africa, pushing that homosexual shit, forcing the presidents in Africa. Why, why you even got presidents? Presidents come from America. Now most of the countries in the world has presidents. So America is the leader of the world. They're, they're ruling the world. They wouldn't be going into Iraq and Iran and all these places if they wasn't ruling the world. Right. All right. If they if they wasn't doing shit, they'd be up in a fucking little mud hut like him, man. Huh? <laughs> Not able to do shit. <laughs> what he said, the, the Welsh or Scottish or some shit? They ain't ruling no fucking world, man. America telling they ass what to do, man. Right. Man, they don't want to accept big, um, upset big bad America. Right. Why do you think, it's not, not to talk too much, but why do you think them uh, people in Libya and, and Syria and all the motherfuckers is fighting? They fight against American culture. They don't want that shit in their land. Merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right, America. And I heard another voice from heaven and saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Right, read that again. For her what? Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For what? For her sins have reached unto heaven. So the dude is asking, well, that, that happened a long time ago, slavery, so I'm still here. It's been a long time, we didn't get judged. The most I gotta wait till they sins stack up to the heavens, man. Man, wait till they shit get, when they said so much, most of us say, all right, it's time for this shit to be over. Fuck this. Go on down here, Howard Shaw. Go down, Angels. Go fuck that place up and deliver my people. The same thing happened in the land of Canaan. I think it was Abraham. Was it Abraham or Isaac that the Most High told? You cannot go into the land of Canaan until they, until they sins. Fill, to, fill up to the heavens. Go up to the heavens. So when they sin, when they when the most when they sin go up just enough, they weakness go up just enough, then the most high gonna destroy this place. And you had some in Ecclesiastes, right? I think you had what I wanted. Go ahead. I got I got some of back you up here. It's Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. For for uh for America be in, be in Babylon, everything is uh spiritually reincarnated. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Right, in America, America is actually the Roman Empire, an extension of the Roman Empire. All right, you got that in Ecclesiastes, right? Of the 
sons of men is fully certain them to do evil. Yeah, they just gonna do wickedness. This is a heritage. Where your father? Revelations. He said, but I'm not. Revelations. Uh, 18 and uh, where, where you left off by the sins. Okay. Revelations 17 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Yeah. Uh, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her, rem remembered her iniquities. Yup, see? So the most I give a little time, man. Like we read in Ecclesiastes. The judgment not gonna come speedily on the man. So the most I gave his kingdom time. Go ahead, go ahead. Build up that wickedness and I'ma just destroy your ass. That's how the most I work with this kingdom. Where is that scripture? Oh, they they they're gonna take they gonna drink to the cup. Yeah, it's in Isaiah. No. Let me get it real quick. What you got? Read what you got. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet on the point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry. No, wait. See, the most high, it might seem like it's taking a long time. He's sitting there with, but we haven't been destroyed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the most high can destroy you, though. He's going to destroy this kingdom. you going to get paid back for what you did to our people. Go ahead. Though it Pick them up. 51 up. Right. Go ahead, man. 49. Do it tell Wait Jeremiah for it. 49, 12. Yeah. Do it tell Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tell Exactly. It's going to come. Yeah, like we told the guy, we don't know when it's going to come. Yeah, we're going to sit here. We're going to look stupid and we're going to wait. We gonna, that's all we can do. What else can we do? We're going to fly. Where are we going to fly to? We're going to run away from it? Where are we going to go? Jerusalem? But they got a whole bunch of heathens in our land. That'll put hell on us there. Yeah. We're gonna run to Africa. They got a whole bunch of heathens over there. Africans is gonna put hell on us. And the white man is over there too. Where we gonna go? Nah, all we can do is sit here and wait. Where we gonna take up guns and go fight this man? For what? This man gonna destroy us. He made the fucking gun. So we gonna wait on our power to come destroy this man. That's going to come with, a, with all, all type of out-of-worldly technologies. All right? Go ahead. Okay, Jeremiah? Yeah. Jeremiah 48, 49, and 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of, cup, of the cup have a surely drunken. Who is that? I'm talking about Israel. We weren't, we weren't made to go into slavery. We were royal people. We were made to rule the whole earth. But we went into slavery because of the shit that we did against our God. Go ahead. It says, And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right, so, so what? This man ain't, because he didn't get punished now, and he put our people in slavery that he not going to get punished? You got your damn mind. You're going to get punished, man. Keep no, we 13. I'll tell you when to stop. Go oh, I Read the last verse again and go into 13. I'll tell you when to For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup are surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I, I have sworn by myself, Thou shalt surely drink of it. I have 
sworn by myself, said to him. Except the Lord. That's it. So you're going to go and punish me, you saw. Now it don't matter that it's been 800 years, 1500 years. Isaiah 51 and 30. I'm sorry, 20. 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They light the head of all the streets as a wild bull in the neck. No, start at verse. Start verse 15. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea. Out of verse 14, because that's what you read. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed. That's us, the captive exile. We were exiled out of our land, Israel, and we're here held captive. Like I told the guy, we're not in chains anymore. The, the physical chains, we in, we in, we in economic shackles, man. We're in mental shackles, man. Yeah, that mental. They ain't got to put chains on us no more. The chains is your damn head, your brain, your soul, your woman, your brother. Your children, man. Your children. We are our own chains, man. Chains is in our head. It's called mental bondage. Mental chains, man, the economic chains. Go ahead. It says, let me read that again. Okay, go ahead. All right, Isaiah 51 and 15. It says, but I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea whose waves roared. Israel. Oh, you wanted um, 14. The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit. That pit is America. Slavery, man. Go ahead. Nor that his bread should fail. Right. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is, name, is his name. And I have put my words in thy mouth and have covered thee in the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Yep, that's why we out here to tell Israel, You're the most high people. Like yeah, we talk to them and we we answer their questions, but mainly it's for the brothers in YouTube man, so that they can be edified and so they know how to answer these people when they come when people come up to them. Go ahead. That was it, bro. Now keep reading. 152, chapter 50. Oh, verse 17. Yeah. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord. The cup of his fury. Oh, there go that cup again. Oh. What is that cup? That cup is slavery, man. That cup is being in a low, low state, man. Keep going. We read that. We read that. Revelation chapter uh, 18. There's another one that kind of same way. Um, thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. Yep. Go ahead. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom shall he, whom she have brought forth. Read that again. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she have brought forth. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she have brought forth. Right. This guy talking about some fucking Jay-Z. Jay-Z wicked as fuck, man. What the hell did Jay-Z do to do for our people? He ain't helping our people. He ain't telling them they is, bro. He telling them to go forth for the American dream. He telling them about all the type of cars and shit he drive. When they going to buy his damn buy his damn album. They make him rich so that he could brag to them about the shit that he got, the bullshit that he got. The fuck with them Jay-Z, they ain't no damn leader. And furthermore, Jay-Z, the record companies is making way more off of Jay-Z than he is, man. 
So Jay Z ain't shit. It's always always somebody above Jay Z. The elites are above Jay Z. Jay Z ain't shit, man. Go ahead. First of all, we ain't got no respect, man. Me. Go ahead. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. Where, where the leaders at? Man, no leaders, man. Nobody need these people, man. These rappers ain't no fucking leaders. Who they lead? I just leading you to the damn store to buy it. Put money in their pockets. Go ahead. These two things are come unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee. Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. Yeah, ain't nobody feeling sorry for us, for the, for the desolation of our land, for the, for the sword that came upon us. Man. We read Revelation 13 and 10. About he that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Them, them two guys ain't feel sorry for us, man. Or our people. They was proud. Oh, we still ain't paid yet. We still ain't paid yet. It's going to prophecy. Go ahead. Whom shall comfort thee? Who comforting us? Nobody. The only one that comforted us is the scriptures. And then we come out in turn using the comforter, we come out and comfort you. Go ahead. Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in the net. Who is that? That's these dudes out selling these drugs, man. At the head of every street. That's these game bangers, man. That's a curse from the most high. Go ahead. They are all they are full of fury of the Lord. They're full of fury, man. Dudes mad for no damn. They don't even know why they mad. They just mad. They just killing each other. Go ahead. The rebuke of thy God. I'm not gonna right. away from Canada. Therefore hear now this. Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, uh, the Lord and thy God that pleaded that the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. You see, there he said that God that he did it because of his people. When I, it was, yeah, we don't like the slavery shit, man. But it ain't about how we feel, man. The Most High is out here. The Most High is angry, man. It's all about his anger, man. You got to tell me, so you're angry, you're angry. No, the Most High angry, man. The Most High is out here pleading our cause. Go ahead. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Right. Thou shalt no more drink it again. They ain't going to slavery again. Go ahead. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down that we may go over. Exactly. Yeah. Most times we take that cup out of our hand and put it into their hand that said, Bow down that I might go over you. What does it mean, bow down that I might go over you? I mean, lay your ass on the ground, let me build up, let me uh, walk over you. Man, and th this kingdom was built off of our backs, man. Go ahead. Thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as the street to them that went over. Next chapter. That's it, man. Uh, go back to Revelation 18. I finished that. In fact, no. You want to go back to what you had, man? Go back to what you had. You got it. Oh. Yeah, the Lord is long suffering. Like it said in uh, 2 Peter 3 8. One day to the Lord is a thousand years. So, the Lord is suffering for some time, but. He'll get the revenge in the end. Eventually, he'll get paid back. But also, I don't remember where I go. What up? She's asking me. 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 She's asking
Thanks for that, boy. 13. 13 and what? Right, 13 and 9. 37. First time. Ended up being invited of the mighty man with the drug I show. There's so much more that he invites you. Right. So as I was saying earlier, with the cops and other people, people in, the, in Babylon who try to snare us, snare all of Israel, mostly the men of the Lord, withdraw thyself, try to get away from him, don't be in his presence, because he's going to try to trap you up, he's going to try to bring harm to you. What's going on? Verse 10, pressed out not upon him, he shall be put back, stand not far off, he shall be forgotten. Afflict not to be made equal to him, and talk, and, be, uh, and believe not in many words, for with much communication, when he tempts thee, he smiles upon thee, but he get out thy secrets. He says, but cruelly he will lay up thy words, and will not spare to do thee hurt, and to put thee in prison. Observe and take good heed, but thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing. When thou hurt, hearest these things, and wake in thy sleep. But truly he will lay up thy words and will and will not spare to do thee hurt and put thee in prison. But truly says, But truly he will lay up thy words. He's gonna try to trap you up so you can put harm upon you. And he's gonna spare you and he's gonna put you in prison. Cops and the heathens, they can't wait to get their hands on us. They hate us, man. They can't wait to get their hands on us and beat us up and put us in prison. But the Lord's gonna get revenge. That's that's funny. Uh, earlier the guy came up and said, uh, well, well, what's gonna happen? Y'all gonna get revenge on us? Yeah, we're gonna get revenge on the power of the Lord. But uh, Revelation 13, uh, Revelation 13, 10 again. The cops could the put us in jail right now, beat us up, nothing happened to him. Trayvon Martin, they could kill him, nothing happened to him. But in that due time, you're going to get payback through the power of the Lord. You know? 21. Uh, 13. Uh, 13. 13. 13. 13. Revelation chapter 13. You said it now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold Right. So these guys are not our friends. We're lambs in this society. Esau, Esau is the wolf. The cops are the wolves. And they're always trying to trap us. Wolves in history they use craftiness and cunning sometimes. Like the sand a wolf in sheep's clothing. They'll try to trap you up with communication so they can snare you up and, and, and trap you and eat you. Do harm to you. So there's no communication between the wolf and the lamb. You gotta try to get away and wait. So until the Lord gets that payback for us, the revenge for us. Revelation chapter 13, verse 39. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Right. So East, so the East saw the cops, they're gonna come trap us up. They've been in the past, killed us with the sword. It's been five, 500 years ago, like the guy said. It's been a long time ago, we should just forget about it. But a day to the Lord is a thousand years. Like, and we as men of the Lord are not supposed to forget about it. We know that the Lord is going to come back and get vengeance on us. Get vengeance for us. 
those are the patients and the faith of the saints. Even though it's been a long time, we go, we're gonna have patience, that's gonna be the, our patience and our faith, knowing that the Lord's gonna get vengeance for us. Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. Seeing it is righteous thing with God to recompense the tribulation to them that trouble you. I'll read it again. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. Right. It's righteous. Not only is he going to do it, but it's righteous. It's good. That's what he's supposed to do. It's just. It's a good thing. Yeah. Good. Uh, 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 okay. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. I just had it. it says, Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land. Right, right. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right. Like, like earlier, once again. God would say, that's my ancestors, that's not on me, it's, uh, that's, that's in the past, no. It says, read it again, it says, prepare. Prepare slaughter for his children. Right, prepare slaughter for his children. For, for what? For the iniquity of their fathers. Right, for the iniquity of their fathers. So he gotta, he gotta pay the bill. The fathers, the fathers ate, left the table, left the bill to his children, and the children gotta pay for the bill. Because they are their fathers, man. Yep, they're the fathers of reincarnation, right? Obadiah chapter 1. Obadiah, verse 10. Yeah, 
I show up. But thy violence against thy brother Jacob saying shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right. against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be put off forever. But, going back to Jacob and Esau, there was, for the violence Esau did to Jacob, you gonna get paid back for that, what are you gonna talk about? Going back to Jacob and Esau being, being brothers, Israel, Israel went back to Jacob, that's people on this side, and Esau is a so-called white man. So-called Europeans. Well, not a shot. But thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover you. Right. And that shame, that shame is y'all shame for all the uh, all the harm y'all did to us, slavery, all of that. Y'all y'all embarrassed for that. But still, you guys are gonna get, you guys are still gonna get the the, the vengeance. You gonna get the payback. No matter how shameful, no matter how, how many apologies you give by your mouth, word of mouth, it's not, it's not going to mean anything. You're still going to get the payback, it's not going to change anything. Scripture said over and over. Verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, shall be done unto thee. Right. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. But as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink to you. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Right. Right. But, upon, <laughs> but upon Mount Zion shall be delivered, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Done. And what they gonna drink? I it. it's, the, it's that nuclear destruction, that's what they're gonna drink. <laughs> and the house of Jacob gonna be as a fire, and the house of Esau as stubble. So that means the Lord's going to use his hand for us to destroy Esau. He's going to use Israel, these people on this side, to destroy, to destroy the Edomites. Payback, we're going, to be, we're going to be used too, as well as the Lord. The Lord's going to use, give me, uh, give me uh, Ezekiel 25. The Lord's going to get vengeance himself, and he's going to use his people. Let's take your 25 more. 25 is, uh, 14. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 14. It says, And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Right, right. Play by the hand of his people Israel. So you can you can trap us up, do harm to us, throw us in jail, kill us, get away with it for now. But soon the Lord comes back, he's gonna use us, them same people, we done looked down upon, throw us in jail, prison, without beat us up, without, without a second thought. Gonna use them same people to come back and get paid back. We're gonna be the ones in the policy. I got a precept. Jeremiah 51. In 19, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Right, right. Break in pieces the nations. Not just Esau, 
all the nations you put us in slavery, because all the nations had us in slavery at one time. All the nations, we're going to break in pieces. We're going to be ruling. You're going to get paid back for all the, all the, all the vengeance and, and, and things they did to us. Chopping off our heads. Making us, putting us in hardcore slavery. Killing off our babies, women and children, all of that. We're going to get paid back. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I bring break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon. Right, right, right. All the, the whole power structure, everything, the government, the mighty men, the weapons, all of that. It's not, it's not gonna even matter. We're gonna break through all of that, push through all that, we're gonna, we're gonna be dominant, we're gonna conquer. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, sin unto thee. Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thrash the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chafe. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Right, right. The Lord called us thou worm Jacob. Right now we're worm. We're worms right now. As I said before, anybody, all of the nations that come come to us, kill us, throw us in jail. Trap us up, take from us all communication, talk, get from us, you know, trap us up with the communication, throw us in jail, beat us up, kill us, and nothing gonna happen, nothing gonna happen to them. They're gonna get away with it scot free. But it, say, it says what? The Lord gonna give us teeth. No, that would make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Right, you're gonna make us a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That means the Lord, the Lord gonna give us power. And when you give us power, you're gonna get vengeance. Hey, Ben. Thou Lord, shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chafe. Right, right. Threshing the mountains, we're gonna uh, take down the governments. The governments, mountains represent government. Make them, make them small. Thou shalt bend them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Right, we go. Right, right, right. We're gonna pray. We're gonna praise the Lord when that time comes. We're gonna be happy about it. Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and be in rest, and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, said the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations where thou have driven thee, but will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measures, yet will I not leave thee holy and punished. The Most High, which is naked, man. The Most High is going to destroy all the nations. He said he's going to make a full end 
of all the nations, man, that they're not going to rule on the earth anymore. They're not going to have power. Only Israel. That's it, that's it. That's it. Sorry, that's it. Hey, we're in the highway today. I bring it without a preset, man. Um, Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy she, shall he be that rewardeth thee. As thou hast served us, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So it said, it is a reward, man. I'll read it again. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. How many kids sound this go down to? Oh, yeah, that's it. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So especially on the children of uh, Edom, which is mean red, which meaning these red people also known as white people, you know, it says you can be dashing their little ones against the stones. Not just for that fuck of it, but that's recompense, man. Like your brother been bringing out, it's recompense all through the scriptures, man. This is recompense, man. Some of y'all brothers may not even have the stomach to do that, man. Even though y'all reading about it, you may not have the stomach to do it because the full spirit and fury of the Lord, his spirit ain't, ain't on you yet, man. You're not going to be thinking about, oh, it's a little cracker, baby. That's right here, man. I don't want to, it's so defenseless. I don't want to hurt it. I'd rather just get the man. Or the woman. Nah, man, fuck that. This is recompense, man. You, you get recompense on a nation, you just don't, you don't, you just don't do it on the men, man. You take out the whole nation, man. Why do you think the most? I'm sorry, but why do you think the Most High got mad at Saul, man? Huh? Because he didn't, he didn't wipe everybody out, man. When you wipe out a nation, you gotta wipe out everybody, man. You have to. I mean, really, you gotta wipe out the men, but if the most High's telling you, yo, you gotta take out this nation, you gotta take out everybody, man. You know? And it's, it's gonna be a big recompense to uh, pay back Esau. This so-called white man. Because basically, he's the leader of all these heathens, man. They follow after him and fucking us over, man. Like it said, like we just read. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? I got a push up, I got a push up. This is Job 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, uh -huh. or where were the righteous cut off? It said, whoever perished being innocent. So, that basically, that's, that, go, that backs up what we said about killing their babies, man. It doesn't matter if they're babies. I don't care who it is, man. That eating my baby, that was a that's, that's the devil, man. No matter what. If you allow him to grow up, he's gonna show you that he's the devil. I, my, shit, I, I, I feel like he might as well get them before they get you. You know? Here, go ahead. I got it, I got it. This is uh, Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord for longer days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. That's right. The years of the wicked shall be shortened, man. And it has to be shortened. At least there be no flesh to save like it. How wish I said, man? This place is full of wickedness, man. Think about this place going on a hundred, another 100, 200 years, man. Come on, man. We already to the w most wicked point. Anything wicked that you could think of has already been done and multiplied by 10, man. And multiplied by 10, man. Hey, hey, hey. 
Go ahead, bro. You got it. That's a good one. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Said for many fishes, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. Right, right. Right now we're fishing. We're trying to tell our people who they are. The elect, only the elect, we're trying to tell them who they are. We try to bring them into the fold, trying to catch some fish. But soon we're gonna become hunters. Like it's good. It's going. It's, it goes back to what I said. What we said in uh, Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 14. By the hand of His people Israel, we're gonna be hunters out here. We're gonna go around getting vengeance for the Lord once again. Uh, right now we're just fishermen. We're harmless. You can pretty much do anything you want to a fisherman. You know? you don't have, they don't carry no weapons. First thing he said, Hey, He's got that fishing pole. He's got a fishing pole. He gotta be trying to fight. He's gonna catch some fish. <laughs> he don't. He don't want to fight. He don't bring guns to the oh, to the, to the, to the lake or, to the lake, or yeah. whatever you fish at. But hunters, they got weapons. They think about. They think about. They think about killing. There he is. There he is. There's, it's even different mindsets. They even got different mindsets. Fish men think about just catching. Hunters think about going out and killing. Right now, right now with the sheep, you got the heathens of the wolves. But it's gonna be flipped. We gonna be the wolves, and you heathens are gonna be the sheep. Jeremiah 30 and 16. You got it, you got it. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. It says, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Right. Okay. Can I read that over again, man? Sure. It says, uh, 30 and 16, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Man, that's plain right there, man. Sure. It said, all our enemies shall go into captivity. Who is Israel's en enemies, man? Basically, anybody that's not Israel, man. Because everybody had a hand in our captivity. So everybody's going into slavery, man. Get ready. They're going into slavery. This guy right here is going to captivity. This guy, I don't know, you know. Is that, that's not his guy, is it? Hey, what's your nationality, man? Huh? I'm from Iran. Yeah, you're going into captivity. At the Hamites, they going into captivity. All of these other nations are going to captivity, man. You know why? You know why the you know why the Persian? I lived in Germany. Couple of years in Germany. I moved to the U.S. two months ago. Yeah, you're going into captivity, though, man. Huh? Yeah, you can lead him, man. Huh? You're going into captivity. All of them going into captivity. And they, they, they sound like they like going into captivity, man. Huh? All of these other nations is going into captivity, man. Huh? I can't wait either, man, because I just think we out here just talking shit, man. Huh? It says, they that devour shall be devoured, man. We got, we, we've been devoured. Go back to Psalms 149. Yeah. Psalms 149 and, and, uh, and 2. 
Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let the praise, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises upon him, unto him, with the timbrel and harp. Is that it? Now, nah, uh, it says, when the Lord take pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Oh, man. I used to bring that scripture out all the time. He shall, be, he shall beautify the meek with salvation, man. The meek is his people, too. Man. The meek is his people, man. But mainly it's talking about the elect. He said he shall beautify the meek with salvation, right? It says the meek, the meek shall inherit the kingdom. All of Israel ain't meek, man. What does meek mean? Humble. He said he shall beautify the meek with salvation, man. That's how we're gonna be beautified because you why? We we pieces of shit right now, man. We're drenched, we're drenched in sin, man. Look at us, man. Our people ain't beautiful, man. Our people are real fucking ugly, man. And horrible to look upon, man. We looking out here at these women, they, yo, they ain't got shit on, man. These dudes out here, man, they fucking wicked, man. They got tight clothes on and shit. They wicked, man. Still to have They're wearing women's garments. I'm sorry, what the hell you said? So it still managed to have haughty looks. It still have managed to have haughty looks? Right. So really, we're not beautiful because what makes us beautiful is these laws, man. These statutes and commandments. You know? Go ahead, up. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing upon, aloud upon their bed. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To execute vengeance upon the, the, the what? To execute vengeance, vengeance upon the heathen. Upon the heathen, man. There it goes with that heathen again. Execute vengeance upon the heathen. And what what is that? Now that's Old Testament or New Testament? Oh, man, some. That's the Old Testament, man. So my question is, how would you know about this if you don't even go by the Old Testament anymore, man? If I just went by the New Testament, you wouldn't know why we're gonna uh, there's gonna be a recompense, man. All this shit that happened, especially in the Old Testament, is telling him about what's going to happen well, um, in the future. I don't know why I discard this Old Testament so much, man. I don't want to hear that shit, man. I don't want to hear it either. They hate this it. Old Testament. Right. That's him? That's the one you was talking about? I've never seen him before, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we come with people that come up all the time. They're talking about they hate this Old Testament, man. It's all about the New Testament. Like we said, the brother just said, we know why. It's a lot of fucking blood in the Old Testament, man. It ain't nothing nice. It ain't nothing nice at all. It said vengeance upon the heathen, man. Go ahead. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Mm -hmm. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, man. Who they're talking about? The leaders of these heathens, man. The so-called white men, so-called Arabs, East Indians. Their kingdoms are gonna be, be brought low. Be brought in a low state, man. That'll be the balance. That'll be the rightful balance, man. You know why? Because you, you... Man, you heathens, man. You're killing the earth, man. 